हाय एवरीवन सो टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉड ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री प्रिंसिपल नंबर टू फॉर यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इट वाज प्रिंसिपल नंबर वन व्हिच वाज प्रिवेंशन प्रिवेंशन ऑफ वेस्ट नाउ टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट एटम इकोनॉमी इन दिस वीडियो आई डिस्कस व्हाट इज द थियोरी ऑफ एटम इकोनॉमी एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू एटम इकोनॉमी सो आई विल गिव यू सम रिएक्शंस एंड यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एटम इकोनॉमी विथ मी सो लेट अस क्विकली गो विथ व्हाट डज दिस वर्ड मीन दिस प्रिंसिपल एंड दिस वर्ड फोकसेस ऑन एटम economy means atom efficiency so earlier it was reaction efficiency like percentage yield that how much a reactant is converting into product that was the thing but along with that product we used to get a by uh, product also along with that product there were by products but the uh, overall yield was near to 100% of the reaction but then green principle what they do say they say that you have to focus on the desired product so your efficiency here atom efficiency here focuses on the formation of desired product so it says that all atoms need to be involved in formation of product this particular term was introduced by barry trost in 1991 let's see for example if reactant a and b react together let's say ethene and react together they form ethanol now this is what the atom economy says that the desired product is made but imagine if this kind of reaction is there where you have reactant you have a product let's say glucose converting into ethanol but you have a by product also co2 is released here as a by product so this type of equation is not desirable as per the principle number 2 atom economy it says that your desired product percentage should be more and there should not be any by product what do we mean by that that every atom needs to be converted into molecule so that it end up in the product so each and every atom need to be utilized whatever is your starting material so let's say uh, if you uh, see the formula they say that it has to be molecular weight of the desired product uh, please focus on the word desired product जो हमें चाहिए रिएक्शन में हम बना रहे हैं वो होगा डिजायर्ड प्रोडक्ट और जो नहीं चाहिए बट एक्स्ट्रा बन रहा है दैट वुड बी बाय प्रोडक्ट सो नाउ हियर परसेंटेज एटम इकोनॉमी सेज दैट यू डिवाइड योर मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ द डिजायर्ड प्रोडक्ट बाय द मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ ऑल रिएक्टेंट्स एंड मल्टीप्लाइड विथ हंड्रेड टू द परसेंटेज let's see in this example if collision rearrangement is the reaction uh, this is the molecular weight of uh, your reagent and your product and as per this formula if you divide and multiply by 100 uh, your efficiency will come to around 100% while in the case of wittig reaction when these two reactions uh, reagents react and they form this product there is one by product also and due to which if you divide 70 by uh, 58 plus 290 you will obviously get less which is 20% so green principle focuses on formation of desired product and that is what atom economy is let's say this is one of the case study of uh, ibuprofen where uh, this particular principle is followed Uh, the conventional method which is known as brown synthesis of ibuprofen uh, was developed in 1960 and the wood company of england was doing that the process was cumbersome uh, it took six steps to complete and when you calculated the atom economy it was only 40% but later on that bhc company uh, which was actually the joint venture of selenes and that uh, boot company itself they developed a one uh, method which you can consider as green synthesis this one a brown synthesis this is a green synthesis where uh, they reduced the number of step so imagine if six step changes to three step uh, that was generation of very less waste and very fewer by products were there so that was a uh, green uh, method following atom economy the atom economy increased to imagine 77 to 99% while earlier it was 40 only so this is a classic example of uh, uh, you know of applying of the second principle atom economy and in fact for this particular product uh, the bhc won uh, two awards and kirpatrick chemical engineering achievement award in 1993 and in 19 when they won presidential green chemistry challenge award so this is one of the breakthrough uh, in atom economy 
let us go ahead with uh, what is atom economy and how do you calculate it i think i'll skip this slide right now in the next video we'll discuss total calculations how do we calculate this atom economy so right now i'm skipping it uh, and now there are different types of reactions so we need to see in which atom economy is followed or not so that we can change the process also now imagine if it is a substitution reaction the name suggests substitution so obviously OH minus and br they are going to be substituted right so your product is this so in this case your desired product would be there but then there will be formation of byproducts and then since sodium sulfate water is undesired product a byproduct so obviously atom economy is very less so substitution reaction are actually not preferred and so as the elimination reaction because as the name suggests there will be elimination of something so here there is loss of atoms right when there is elimination let's say this reaction is going to eliminate hbr so one h and br goes and the electrons go here and you develop a double bond here so elimination product also comes along with a byproduct so obviously a poor atom economy is there let us see to different type of reaction let's say addition reaction in addition reaction uh, definitely addition is there so the reagents are going to be added that means there will be only one product and that is how here the atom economy is near 100 percent so this type of reactions are always preferred and so as the rearrangement reaction re arrange means arrange within themselves so here this type of reactions there is no loss of electron because loss of atom is not there why because the atom is going to rearrange within itself so if you calculate the molecular weight of the product and divide it by molecular weight of the reagent obviously is going to be same so again here also they nearly have 100 percent atom economy and is appreciated Coming to one more aspect of atom economy which is like catalysis as you all know that when we use catalyst it enhances the rate of reaction. So what happens uh, to atom economy then because what happens here is if a traditional route is followed like for this reaction methylene oxide is produced here but then there is a byproduct calcium chloride and water. So if you want to calculate atom economy you will only use this and 44 is for uh, this and then 28 plus 70 plus 74 this is the molecular weight of reagents involved you will get very less atom economy right very less now when you use green uh, uh, root obviously you are using catalyst there so when catalysts are used normally the reagents are uh, you know displaced uh, in place of that you are using catalyst and the catalyst is not consumed in the reaction so it is actually not con uh, calculated in atom economy it's not there actually its presence is there but its molecular weight is not going to be uh, included so it is going to help you now this is the product and if you divide it by reagent you will get almost 100 percent atom economy now the catalyst could be of many faces like if it is homogeneous that means homo means same so if the face is same that means the reactant and product are in same phase uh, both are liquids let's say so if this is the reaction example uh, production of adiponitrile uh, atom economy would be around 100 percent and if you go by heterogeneous catalysis hetero means obviously different so the phases are different here uh, let's say this is the reaction which is formation of this aniline here and now this is the reaction nitrobenzene is formed in uh, so and so if you calculate the uh, atom economy it would be like 4 into 93 divided by 4 in this 9 into this and 4 in this giving you very less atom economy at the same time if you go by a greener route and you utilize a catalyst obviously uh, the byproduct would not be there so atom economy increases and the third one is bio catalyst bio origin means you are going to use enzymes or something which is bio degradable so itself it is very safe and green concept first of all and secondly since they are very highly selective so obviously uh, your uh, atom economy is going to increase because it's going to give you a, a specific product and it's not going to give you a byproduct so definitely will follow a, a heterogeneous uh, phase or a bio catalyst phase i think uh, that's all for today uh, if you have liked the video please hit on like this will give me a good motivation do mention in the comment also if some kind of topics you would like me to cover in the next video i'll come up with the calculation problems of atom economy percentage yield e factor etc and at the same time i'm working on the playlist of organic chemistry also so i'll be coming up with those new videos and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe thank you so much